feeling when you've done fuck all for a while and the world hums and sips its room temperature coffee? Mm, all is right. But then you actually do something and the world spit takes in every direction? Fellas and lady fellas, I introduce you to your decaf coffee for the day. Peach stays planted to her tree even when you rip it out of the ground doing nothing, interrupting our something. Why do we like her? Oh, she's cute? Yeah, swell point. Well, some 14 years ago, the DS hardware opened its core to the idea of forced role reversal. The quirky handheld title Super Princess Peach sees her in the starring role, something a lot of folks were intrigued by. Back to the decaf coffee joke, some really like it. Some say, meh, well I fucking hate all coffee, except minty. So it makes me wonder if the Mushroom Monarch's only leading role falls Follow suit. As requested by my Platinum Patron Sensei Spyro, Pinky's out, I'm taking a sip. Forces of good, legions of bad, which is more to be had? Opinion or fact? I'm on the attack. <laughs> Hopefully I'm forgiven for missing that one other emotional superpower platform game that possibly exists. But the first fruit to fall off that tree appears to be Peach. Molding a 2D platformer around the premise of weaponized feels is brilliant, I gotta say, and tops the pyramid of charm with all the clever touches. Heal your woes by staying calm. Get pissy to stomp on heavy switches and torch things with your literally fiery anger, lift your spirits up in the air with joy, and my favorite, douse fire and grow plants with the waterworks, and run away crying. It's Nintendo's fun-loving ingenuity at its pinkest and prettiest. Makes for remarkably stimulating level highlights and an impressive software gimmick on a household gimmick hardware. A very juicy peach indeed. <laughs> Not exactly a common point of praise on this show, but I really dig this game's color choices. While the average idiot would chalk it up to looking girly, I'd chalk it up to FUCK YOU! Got a problem with girls? The soft pinks, friendly whites, gentle blues. The way it all mixes in isn't dissimilar to those stress-evaporating, surely orgasmic cakes Mario always gets after flipping the world over to save her. Dibs on all of it! I have the feeling I'm in the minority on this, but Peach's characterization in this game entertains me well. And it's not because she's actually carrying the torch for once. Her wide utility and the different vibes shows a lot of infectious energy. She's bouncy, innocently happy, and very animate even with the uglier feelings. Sure, yeah, it's kind of funny to snark at haha, women are emotional in this context, but I don't have trouble believing this is Peach. Above all, seeing her all bubbly like this puts me in a good mood. I'm smiling too hard to make a sexist joke. Sue me. The music is nice. It's got the same general feel as Kirby, at least for the stages. You're not gonna get a concussion from the air via hardcore headbang, but it's boppy, to be sure. Kinda sounds like lounging a beach chair in your backyard music. Never really stuck in your head, but surely filling it with pleasant energy. I know a lot of us want to walk up to our bosses and implode their faces, but on account of treating me with at least a little humility, these are granted a pass. I could very well tally this up as fun, interesting gameplay yet again, but select boss battles in this game put it to a use that amuses me even more. Crying to water beanstalks and get high enough to Mario Sunshine Petey Piranha all over again, angrily stomping on pressure points to flip over Wiggler, lighting lantern ghosts to give King Boo a migraine, it's a certain joy. <laughs> I sensed a good deal of character understanding with regards to her general energy, but when it came to controlling Peach, I find myself taking a step back. Something apparently rare to criticisms of this specific game, I find myself cringing at the general feel of movement. Peach feels really artificial when it comes to jump precision and momentum. Overly sharp traction combined with jump height that's literally just 
enough. Moving and jumping feels like an unnecessary struggle. It's both precise and slippery at the same time. Am I fucking tweaking? It feels like they mixed the way Mario and Luigi handles together, forgetting that Peach already had an established flow and controlled fine. It's weird as hell. Pretty subjective, but it's just really uncomfortable to me. You know the kind of game or movie that has one weird thing that only it does, but everything else is on loan from everything else? We got a new case to study there. How the hell can you serve up something so fresh and interesting to play and color it in with someone else's crayons? Deja Vu is bound to suck you off playing this, cause so many of its visuals are derivative at best and recycled at worst. Specifically, Yoshi's Island and Wario Land 4 seems to have been the art director's favorite games. I love their taste, but the general art style looks way too much like Yoshi, and the Koopas are from Yoshi. Look, that's ungodly distracting. Was this just a Star Fox Adventures thing and Peach suddenly usurped the production of Yoshi Feels and shit? Tell me I'm wrong. And as you saw from the boss roster, most of its concepts are pulled right out of Sunshine specifically. I've never played a game with art so nice to look at, yet so hard to respect. Yes, your best friend's a super nerd who gets basically every answer right. At least write it in cursive if you're gonna copy them. Sheesh. Okay, time for the boring argument. This shit's easy. So, goddamn easy. Hey, you're ripping off Yoshi's Island, not story, with level design so paranoid of your possible failure that it has to feed you limitless fuel for overpowered powers to keep your hand held every second. God, you can save yourself from falling, crouch for iframes, even regen health for pretty much free. You're a Mario game. You're so much more three-dimensional than this. Oh no, sorry. It's a Peach game. Pride's everything to you, huh? I should stress, I'm not under any. This doesn't piss me off, it just disappoints me. Because seeing something with gameplay concepts as fun and interesting as this be given the roughness of soggy cotton candy, man, that picture was perfect. Why'd you have to miss? I'm sure everybody had a mutual curiosity of just how Peach fits into the starring role. Is it a personal journey? Dream? Not to be disrespectful, of course. Just what does Peach do for a solo adventure? Mario's job? That's right. It's all about stopping Bowser and rescuing an important captive. So, it's a Mario game. That's disappointing enough already, not doing something different. But the details of the story? Fuck. Bowser gets this thing called the Vibe Scepter and instantly thinks of Mario. Way to gift wrap the jokes and used condoms. Speaking of jokes, he makes the kingdom emotional with it and kidnaps Mario and Luigi while Peach is on a walk! What the fuck? That's it? They didn't fight back like all those other fucking times? Some hammer bros caught them like it's nothing? Fuck you! No! Fuck your story! Fuck your half the sappy crap of the talking umbrella and recycled cutscene animations! You do my boys dirty like that? Bullshit! Alright, let's end it with a goodie. Or baddie. Whatever. Aside from stupid shit in the intro, nothing's really pissed me off so far. Until I got to the end of the game. Can someone please? And I'm goddamn upstanding with this. Can someone please actually look me right in the eye, strap to a lie detector, and cleanly say to my face that they liked going back to get all those fucking toads? Got my whole months of ad revenue here. It's a whole two dollars. I dare you to try to claim them. Who in their right mind? You can't fight the final boss if you didn't rescue all the toads. Three per stage? Every stage? Are you brain damaged? I've never played a game, finished game, that requires you to 100% every stage. Never! Like imagine if New Super Mario Bros forced you to collect every star coin to fight Bowser. Fuck you. Never do this. Final tally. 
Wow. I suppose it's not surprising that I'm revealed to be more or less indifferent to a game about a character I'm indifferent to. Super Princess Peach eh, wouldn't officially rule it out as wasted potential. It's a decent, functional game with a fun concept and some questionable ties to the core. By and large, I did have my fun with it, and it's kind of silly to get offended by something that's genuinely harmless. If I was a die-hard Peach fan, I'd probably be satisfied. But as someone deeper into the hearts of her saviors, eh, it's aight. But truly, just aight. Hopefully the second chance strikes the gold. And hopefully there eventually is a second chance. So, let's see what our passionate patron has to say. Hi everybody, Sensei Spyro here, and Logan, thank you so much for letting me say, Super Princess Peach may be a lazy game, but we all start small, don't we? I say start however you want as long as you, your, well, heart is in it. Otherwise, you miss the point and don't grow, really. As for me, SPP is a very fun experience because 2D games are not really for me, but... Thanks to this game, I carefully pick in my 2D games as, well, I see fit. SPP may be a questionable game, but Logan isn't. Logan, you are such an amazing uh, human being, and, and if you don't go into heaven, I don't know who will. So you, you have a wonderful day, and uh, just keep being you. See ya, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, Spyro. Hope you liked your episode, late or otherwise. This has been Blessed or Messed, and I trust you, the best of the best, to know the rest. And now, give it up for the high tier patrons Shade2800, Panther J, Tubazone1989, Diamond Ice, Skellington977, Mathtron5000, Goldsbro TSG, Thomas Drury, Lucario Smash246, God Falking Dammit, Alfredo Jones, Love, Sefi90, Zero Z, Jake Arnstom, Morgan Arvite, Squeegee Luigi, BF Rio, John the Pink, Renaku, Lord of Shadow, Cortamanch437, Azazel the Undying, Cody Thomas, Peter Shepard, Solitaire Seamus, Christopher, GTY200, Belkin, Michael Boyd, Steve, Masao, Exeox, Put 9 Volt in Smash Bros, please, Arctic Kaiju, Gaming Griffin, Burn 100B, Patrick Sandlin, Maze Arcana, Jinxiest, Kyle Wee 21, Ray the Snivy, Douglas Jenkins, Blue 9999, Eddie Toxpin, Roberto Del Fuego, Smash Mario Pro 2000, Grandmaster Augustus, and Spark of Dusk 777. May we meet again! Yeah.